Hey bestie boos, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things embodiment, entrepreneurship and living your best, most delicious dream life. Today I am covering, do face tattoos really stop you from getting a job? This is a question I get a lot on all of my social medias and people are never really satisfied with the answer because they don't know in person. So I thought I'd cover it a little bit more in depth in this video. So there's a few points here and really the start is, do you know the career you want to get into or the job you want? And is that something long-term? If it's something that could be okay for a while and then you wanna move up into more of a business or management role or something that they don't allow face tattoos specifically, even just tattoos, that's obviously going to be an issue. It really depends on the industry you're wanting to get into and if you already have a bunch of tattoos and that's pretty accepted in your realm, in your kind of industry, whatever you want to get into, then you'll be fine. Like if they're accepting of tattoos, they're accepting of tattoos. If they say they're accepting, but they just want like a little tiny little love heart here and that's like as far as they go, they're not accepting of tattoos sorry some possible roles that you could get into are obviously tattoo studios admin slash front of house warehouse roles a like a vegan cool brand like lush or something they're usually pretty good small businesses usually pretty good anything with social media if you obviously want to be an entrepreneur and own your own businesses you're your own boss it's not an issue clothing brands or retail stores you just got to pick and choose which ones are accepting and usually the ones that are accepting if you're watching this video then you don't want to go to someone that's not accepting because that translates to their whole vibe okay the second thing i will say is do you already have some tattoos don't just go and get a face tattoo when you don't have anything else it's a thing okay i don't know why people do it they think it's like the coolest thing to do, but if you don't have any other tattoos, you don't know what it's like to A, commit to something long-term, B, be okay with it on your body, and C, you don't know people's reactions, you don't know what it's like to have to work in an industry that is okay with tattoos in general. Third thing is, are you getting a tattoo on your face that is offensive, religious-wise, otherwise? If you're a famous, influencer or something like that or you run your own businesses it's fine it's really not an issue you don't have to deal with bosses and things like that and if that's where you want to get to then it will be fine in future maybe just wait a little bit longer but if you still need to work for other people for a while don't get anything that's offensive that's just a little bit silly isn't it fifth thing is be prepared for questions from strangers people will come up to you on the street ask you questions, ask you about your whole life story, maybe even not ask you any questions because they don't actually care, they just want to tell you their story and their ideas. Very annoying. A lot of older people will also just stare at you and they will just kind of stare at the things on your face and give you a really weird look and I don't know, it's super creepy to be honest. They'll just stare at you, they won't actually say anything. You can feel their judgment from miles away. Good times. The next thing is, if you're considering getting it, you've gone through all of these points, you're totally okay with it, it's all sweet. Go to an artist that you trust to do it, to do it correctly, to also actually do it for you because a lot of tattoo artists will not do face tattoos for obvious reasons. Make sure you go to someone that's willing to do it, that you trust. It's your face. You do not want them to screw up. Don't get your friend who bought a $50 set from Amazon to give you a face tattoo, okay? It's not gonna end well. The final thing is start with something small, something like a little love heart or a couple of dots under your eyes that you can easily cover with concealer, a bunch of concealer, but still concealer. I started with this guy and most people honestly didn't even realize I had it. I had an older lady who I thought was gonna be a Karen about it didn't even notice it and then a year after I was working at the place she was like oh did you get a new face tattoo and I was like girl this has been here before I knew you most people don't even realize okay it's fine 
start with something small, something that is pretty fine. This guy was a lot bigger. This guy I sat on for a little while and made a commitment to myself with it. I am super happy with it, but it was definitely a bit of an edgy decision. I could feel that this was a big, big decision, but definitely worth it. And it's me and I have this beautiful career that I'm building with you guys, so yay. But that is all for today. This was a little bit of a shorter video. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Any questions, leave them below. If you have anything to say, if you have a face tattoo, please share. I love discovering what people have on their faces. I think it's really beautiful and I think it's definitely getting bigger and bigger, but we're just slowly catching up. Any more questions or any video requests, leave them below or send me an Instagram DM at Kalilikan, K-A-A-L-I-L-Y-C-A-N. And make sure to stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>